Hello, good morning everybody. Have a great Friday. Happy Friday for all of you. I just was waiting a couple of minutes because I'm seeing only two attendings today. But let's just wait one minute more to see if anybody else enters so we can start. My name is Diana. I'm going to be with you today explaining about the overview of a property on the system, okay? Just let's give like one minute more. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, Michael Smith and Alisa. Let me just wait just a couple of seconds to see if anybody else will enter today on the webinar, okay? Maybe they are running late. Meanwhile, please remember that you can ask any questions, okay? Uh, if you want me to repeat something, if you need to for me to stop or just raise your hands, you can have you can write your questions on the chat window or on the Q&A part of the system, okay? The Zoom meeting. You can just type down everything there. I can read it and I can explain you everything live, okay? Wait just another minute. I just received a text that one person wanted to be on the overview, so he's connecting. Okay, very good. Also, remember that when it, whenever you want to, I don't know, uh, watch again this webinar, you have the access on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is right here. Okay, on the main side of the, sorry, on our website, on the home page, right here, if you click on the YouTube channel, it will take you directly there, so you can watch all the videos, okay, past tutorials, past classes, everything is right here on the YouTube channel. So can somebody tell me uh, if you can see my screen, please? I don't want to see if you if you cannot see it. Can you see my screen? Thank you, Elisa, excellent. Okay, so right here, it will take you to the YouTube channel and you can find here all the videos that you might need, okay? About any past webinars, okay, or the, uh, tutorials, short tutorials about Reafax, BNB Bestor, the deal generator, website, everything that you need. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to log in to my account. Remember, you just need to click right here, it will say login, use your email and password, it will take you right here to your control panel. So today is, is going to be about the overview of a property. Remember to access the overview it is best, because there it will be the full information, it is best for you to access your main product on ReFX. It could be either Professional Platinum, sorry, it could be ReFX Platinum, ReFX Professional, or ReFX Professional Dialer, like my case, okay? So as soon as we enter, it will take us to the search area for our main product. Right here, I already have selected a few filters so we can try to speed out a little bit and get to the overview, okay? So I'm going to do this search. This is in Miami-Dale. Remember that you can select right here any other county. So I'm going to uh, do the search in this particular county. You can also select cities and zip code. I'm going to select data that is for sale. That is the kind of uh, results that I want to get. So that's why I selected data for sale. Type of property, single family only for this uh, test. Foreclosures, I want these properties to be in a pre foreclosure status. Please remember that if you want these properties uh, to be recent pre foreclosed you can go right here under the dotted line and on the filter for foreclosures, select on file date, the dates that you want to these, these foreclosures or the lease pendants, okay? when the list pendants be, became public or become public. That is how you can find recent pre foreclose I'm not going to use it. I already have a lot of filters right here, so it will narrow the search too much for me, okay? 
I also want these results to be private because I want you to see that information on the overview, okay? Again, for probates, you just need to select yes right here, but you need to go to the probates or the probate filter, okay, a specific ones, under the dotted line and select right here, publish date to find recent cases of probates. Again, we are a data system that you, it could be information that if you want to find them, the recent ones, use the publish date, the file date, or any other dates that it might suit you, okay? Now, I also want these properties to have a market value bigger than $100,000. That's why I selected equal or greater, and I just type down the amount on this filter, properties that are also with a little bit of uh, the equity, okay, or a lot, depending on uh, the, how you use it. I selected equal or greater 10%, 10 okay? And I also want these properties, okay, because they are for sale, I don't want to invest more than this amount. So that's why I go here under the filters for for sale and on listing price, I selected equal or less $600,000. And I want to find a good deals. What are considered good deals for properties that are for sale? Properties that are asking an amount, but the market value is bigger than what they are asking for. And we have here on the system a filter that you can use to find those kind of properties. Right here is the last one under the for sale filters, okay? Calls potential equity. That will allow you to find, if you use a positive percentage, properties that have a listing price that is less than the market value. Remember that the market value we calculated based on the comparables on the system, okay? And uh, that's how you can get that specific uh, amount. Now, I only select a little uh, percentage. If you use a big, um, um, I don't know, amount right here, you might not get any kind of results. So try to use only 5% or 10%. I use the, and use the filter like equal or greater or uh, equal or less, depending, okay? But the best one is, is for you to use a positive percentage. Now, this is my search, okay? I already select all my filters. I selected a lot of filters, so we might not get too many re uh, results right here. But that is okay because I just want you to see the overview of one of these properties, okay? I just click on search, sorry, let me go back. Click on search right here at the top, okay? That this is where you can find the, the icons for your actions. And right here, this is these are the tabs for the access in your account. So click on search and that will take us to our results, okay? The results are going to open always on the grid view. The detail view is right here. You can change that view to see the properties organized like this, okay? You, you, you see if the property is, in this case, green, that is the color of every property, is because they are active for sale, like I selected. This uh, green amount is the, is the listing price that they are asking, okay, for every property. Addresses, general features are going to be here, market value, and the rest of the values that the system calculates for you. Now, the other view is the map view, okay? You can see organized on the map all your results, you can zoom in, okay? Let's say that you want to only concentrate in this area. You can also select your properties right here, like drawing any kind of shape on the map, okay? If you need to. Wait one second, it's loading. This is my connection, it could be a little bit slow. Okay, so right here, see? You can draw any kind of shape on the map if you need to, and that's it. I'm going to erase it so I can see again all my results. So, how do I access the overview of any of these properties? 
either from your results, okay, from any of the views that you have here, you just need to click on the property and it will take you there. It will take you to the overview. Another way that you can access the overview of a property if you have professional as your main product or professional dialer, you can just go to your follow-up right here and the properties that you already have there stored, okay, on your following tab, click on the address of any of these and it will open a drop-down list where you need just select go to overview. As soon as you do that, it will take you to the overview of that particular property. Okay, now let's go back to the results that we just get, these six results. Now, if I want to click, if I want to go to the overview of any of these, again, I just click on it. I'm going to select property number two, click on it, and right here. Now I'm in the, in the overview of this address, okay? What are you going to see on the overview? Right here at the top, address, days on the market, Okay, because this property is an active for sale property, okay, and it's also a pre foreclosed property because that's what I selected. Right here, you also are going to see the market value. In this case, this is the REFAX value, the market value that the system calculates for you if your property is a single family type or a condo town and villa, you will see this value, and that is based on our comparables that I'm going to explain you just in a little bit. You can also see the distribution, size, and year view. If a property will have pool or water from, you are going to see those words like this, okay? Right here, pool or water from. In this case, this property doesn't have it, so that's why it doesn't show here. And this is a single family type of property I just, I, I just selected. The median value, sorry, is the, is the market value for every square footage, okay? That is that a median value that you will see here. Anybody has any questions? Let me open here. Remember, you can chat with me on the Zoom, on the chat part, or ask any questions on the Q&A part of the system. Okay, no questions, so I'm going to continue. Excellent. So, you will see on the overview all the tabs for the information that is available about this particular property. And at the top, you are going to see all the icons, okay, that it will give you a specific actions for this property. Now, let's start with the first tab, the details. Right here, you will find all the information that was first recorded on public records. Size, uh, general features, the folio number or the parcel ID, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, units, okay? The last sold date for this particular property, you can also see it here. And any values that was registered as well about the property. Land value, asset value, bill value, and tax value. And also the value for every square footage. You can also see if a property has been vacant, this, only, this information it will be only if um, what is it called? If you have a professional dialer product, remember that you can make any of grapes in your account if you want to, if you need to. If you want to find and search for properties that are vacant or abandoned, please contact us so we can help you to upgrade to the professional dialer product. Now, you can also see right here below the legal description of a property, the sale history, it will be right here how many times the property has been uh, sold, okay, and those sales has been registered by the prices, book, pages, and dates. And at the bottom, okay, you are also going to find the owner information, owner's name, address, and phone number. Remember that for owners, we don't have email addresses. We only have their last address and the last phone number that they registered in any public data source, okay, that we can obtain. It could be as accurate as the last time that they registered. If maybe the phone number is disconnected or something like that, it's because they haven't updated their information and we cannot get it, okay? Now, so this is the information that you will find 
on the details, on the overview of a property. If you are an agent, and please let us know your license number so we can add some features here in your account that it will allow you to see more information about properties that are active for sale, okay, like this one. You will see another tab right here that is called listing details. If you are not an agent, okay, and you haven't told us your license number, the name of this tab is going to be additional links. If you click on there, okay, the ones of you that are agents, you are going to see all the information right here. The listing details about the property that the agent have registered, the remarks, sorry, right here, any remarks, again, that the agent have registered. You can also see right here at the bottom, the agent information and the office or the broker house where the agent works, okay? So you will find email addresses, phone numbers, several type of numbers, okay? So you can contact this agent or check any information right here. Right here, you are also going to see the listing price, okay, of this property, how much they are asking for. You, again, if you are an agent, you can see all the pictures inside one property. You just need to click on it right here on the image, and all the pictures are going to show there, okay, one by one. In this case, for this property, as you see, we only have one picture. That is the only picture that the agent have registered. But if an agent have registered several pictures, okay, inside or outside the property, so you can see, I don't know if the property has damage, okay, you will be able to see it. Another view that you have is the street view. If you don't have time to travel to this particular location, just select a street view and you can navigate through the neighborhood like you will do it on Google Maps. So the property is right here and you can move around. Sorry, this is the property right behind us, okay? This is the property that is for sale and you can move around the neighborhood if you need to, to check anything else. You can also open the map view and it will give you the view for the location, okay? Uh, it's taking a little bit of time in my account because again, my internet is a little bit slow, so sorry. So right here, this is the location on the map. In any uh, view, you can zoom in, zoom out, you check everything that you need to, put this as a full screen, or change only to the map type of view and not the satellite view. You can drag your pet map right here on the street and again, it will take you to the street view, okay? So that's how you can see pictures inside or outside the property on the system. But if you are not an agent, then you are going to only see these links, the IDX and the realtor.com where you can see the entire information of this property, okay? If I just click on IDX, it will take you right here. Again, you will see, in this case, only one picture, but in case that you have more pictures, you can see them all right here. All the information that has been registered in that particular website, okay? About the property, remarks, general features, and again, the agent information is going to be here. Okay, so regardless, you can see the information on the system. Now, another tab that we have about a property is the comparables. Remember, the system will find comparables for you only for single family type of properties and condo and towns and villas. Any other type of property is very difficult to find comparables on half of a mile away. They have approximately the same size, okay? That's how we find, that is the criteria that we use to find comparables. So again, these properties are going to be comparable to this one, that is our subject property, because they are half of a mile away. These properties were sold in the past year. So right here on this column for the last sell, you will see the dates from when these properties were sold. And these properties are also similar or comparable because they have approximately the same square footage, okay? Based on this, the system for this property is finding 17 comparables. And based on all the sold prices, okay, registered about, uh, registered about these properties, 
the system is giving you the market value right here and you can see it right here but let's say that you want to change out the criteria the default criteria sorry for that you need to filter for different compatibles okay any questions so far no okay let me continue so how we can filter to find maybe more accurate comparables, okay? Or less or more, that will depend on you. You just need to click here at the top where it says filter. Open the filter and you can select maybe at a distance. Instead of only selecting properties that are half a mile away, go up to, I don't know, one mile away or two miles away, okay? Let's go to one mile only, in this case. And I don't want to see all the properties that were sold in the past 12 months. I only want to see the properties that were sold in the past six months. On closing date, I just leave it on front and I can select six months, okay? I can also select, in this case, properties that have pool or water from, yes or no. In this case, I know that this property, because it doesn't have the information right here, this property doesn't have either pool or water from. So I can select no or no. And I can select the same number of bedrooms and bathrooms, so three and one, and I just leave it on equal, okay? Now, for that, I just only need to click on filter. Let's see how many comparables we can find with that specific criteria. Only seven, okay? That, I don't know, in my head, they are more comparable to this property than the full 17 that I had with my default list, okay? Now that I found them, Remember that you can also see the difference between maybe the listing prices of every single one of these based on the, on the um, status. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes the properties that are blue right here, okay, that are only by the owner at this moment, the last sale was registered only because they made the offer, they made the sell themselves, okay, the, the owner. And the properties that are brown are properties that are closed sales, maybe a recently closed with an agent, okay? So that's why you can maybe see any kind of different prices right here. But that depends. It could be about anything else. The property has damage, okay? Whatever. Now, based on these seven, I can just select them, all of them, and I can try to calculate a new market value. I just click right here at the top where it says calculate, and that's it. Now the system, based only on my selection, has calculated for me a new market value right here, okay, based on the sold prices on only these seven comparables. This is something that you, if you want, you can print, okay, it will download the page as an EPDS file if you need to. You can also save this report in your documents, okay? That is going to be right here on your control panel. I will show you in a bit. You can export the list to an Excel file as well if you need, okay? It will be with a line for the subject property at the top and your selection down. Any questions so far about this, guys? Remember, chat with me on the chat window if you need to. And you also have the Q&A part of the system there. No questions? Anybody needs to me for repeat something? Let me know. Okay, so let's continue. So this is how you can find, okay, more accurate comparables and calculate a new market value for your property. If we move to the active comps, it's exactly the same, but in this case, the difference is that these properties are active for sale at the moment, okay? These ones were properties that were already sold and these are for sale, okay, listed on the area. Again, everything is half of mile away. So these properties are in the same neighborhood and they are asking this amount, okay, for the listing prices. You can also see the listing date and the days on the market that this property has, okay, or has been. Based on this, the system is giving you an active value for the property, different from the other one that it will give you a market value. 
this is the active value and the refx value right here at the top it will change according to the default comparables in this case four comparables that the system is found in you can see right here as well you will see back your listing price right here on the top of comparables you will see only the last sole register okay about this property now on the active comes again you can use the filter to find more or less comparables, okay? I can just go and apply maybe more distance, okay? Let's go all to one and a half mile away. Again, same number of bedrooms and bathrooms. If you want to apply in any other filter, you can do it. Okay, so based on that, three properties. Again, I can select them all, click on calculate value right here at the top, and the system based only on my selection, it will give me now a new value, a new active value, okay, for these properties. And I can see it right here. With this, I can start making any, I don't know, calculations about my profit. I already know, okay, the active value that maybe it could be the value that I sold this property for after I have buy it, buy it, sorry. <clears throat> and uh, I can go back here to the comparable so I can check the market value again just calculate of a property and this market value right here I can compare it to the listing price so in this case this property is a great deal okay I don't know for me in my head they are asking this amount but the comparables are telling me that the property is value for more okay and actually the properties that are active for sale of the area, they are also asking for more. So I can start calculating my profit. So this is how you can also find great deals with the system, okay? Any questions? Let me know, please. No questions, okay. So let's move on to the distress comps. Right here, the system will find, okay, or it will tell you all the properties that are half of a mile away, Again, properties that are similar on the size of the property, same, approximately the same square footage. But these properties are or were in a um, foreclosure status. And also maybe properties that were already auctioned, okay? You will see it right here on the grid, on the auction date, if a property was already uh, with the final judgment or uh, auction in this case, when and for how much, okay? You can see right here on this column that it says auction date and auction amount. All properties that are going to be auctioned soon, okay? If you see any property here by the date, you can also find them like that. The rest of these are properties that maybe are only on a pre foreclosure status. And you can check on the last column, it will tell you the known debt. This is the last debt registered about a property okay, based on the mortgage liens. On the system, we don't have the full liens for the mortgages, okay, but we have the last uh, debt register. It is as accurate as the last time that they have updated on any core, uh, courthouse or public records, the information about their payments, okay, for debts, okay. The first property that you will see is the subject property that we can find right here. This is something that you can select any of these if you need to, again, export into an Excel file. Or let's say that you want to do, um, you are interested in any of these properties and you want to do a research about this again. In any of the comps that you will find, you just need to click on one of these and the system will take you to a different overview the overview for the comparable and without closing the previous one. So you can do two researches at the same time, okay, for different properties on the overview. You can just go back here and see the other or stay here and check this one, okay? Now, the rental comes. These are properties that are on the area that are being drained. And you can see right here on the listing rental price, okay? how much they are asking for the rents for these properties. Again, these are properties half of a mile away with approximately the same size. With this, you can again try to filter to find more or less or only select 
I'm going to select only these two properties right here. And with that, calculate a new rent value than the one that the system is giving you with the full comparables. So if you want to buy this property and then put it for rent to have a monthly income, this is approximately the amount that you can ask for that rent value, okay? Either this, the full comparables, or the one that you just calculated with your selection. The other tab that you will see is B&B comes. Remember that if you have ReFX, you also have access to our newest tool, the B&B Bestor and the Deal Generator. Let me move right here one second. If you click on the greenhouse right here at the top, it will take you again to your control panel. If you are using, and I will recommend to use the system on Google Chrome as your browser, you will see these two icons right here. If you want to access the BNB Bestor, click on it. It will take you to the website. And please remember that there, you need to log in using the same email and password that you use for ReFX, okay? Because otherwise it's not going to let you do any searches. So because we have access, okay, to that, you have access to that with your ReFX account, you are also going to see properties that are being rent as bed and breakfast, okay? B and B type of properties. So these properties are on the area, half a mile away from this property and they are being rent as bed and breakfast. You can see the type and the class of property that they are renting. If maybe it's an entire home or apartment or it's only a guest suite, or if it's a shared room or a private room, how many guesses this property can host, okay, based on the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, of course, the number of beds that are there as well. How, may, how much they are asking on an average daily rate, okay, for renting these properties as B and B, and you can see it right here, and you can also see the occupancy rate of these properties. You can see them right here. Based on this, on the average daily rate, the system is giving you an value, okay, seventy dollars. Sorry, seventy dollars that you can ask daily if you want to buy this property and then rent it as a B and B is best, and you can see on B and B the difference and even the revenue that you can have to put a property like this instead of being attached to a long-term contract with a, a rent property, okay, like monthly or yearly. Any questions, guys, about any of the comps that we just saw on the overview? No questions. Okay, so let's move on. Remember, you can raise your hands, you can ask any questions on the chat window and the Q&A. Okay, so these are the comps that you will see. Now, if a property has an information for the original mortgage or even all the mortgages that a property could have, you will see it right here. This tab will appear. If you don't see it, it's because that property hasn't registered any original mortgage, okay? or the records are not there anymore. That will happen also. Not on the system, but on the public records, okay? Or the Clare House, the Clare House. Now, this property particularly has only one mortgage that was uh, uh, on this date, was recorded on this day. So you can see who was the borrower, the borrower, sorry, the lender, the amount, the document book, and page. If maybe two mortgages will be here or three, you will see the entire information. Because we selected on our search properties that are pre-foreclosed, so I'm going to see the foreclosed tab right here with the information that is available. Now, you can also uh, try to find properties that are, um, remember, with a file date, recent, uh, foreclosures. In this case, I didn't select it, but I can see the information right here. So this is the case, okay? This is the known debt of this property, the last debt registered about the property. Right here, I can see how much is the debt to equity percentage. This property is still on a pre foreclosure status. The type is lease pendants, okay? I can also see mortgage or plain leaf, 
right here is the date when the property was entered on the system. As soon as it's as a, a pre foreclose or a foreclosure is registered in any of our data sources, the date before of that we will be able to see it. Okay, on ReFX. We update our data every single day, especially on Florida for the three uh, area for the three country area, Palm Beach, Miami Dell, and uh, Broward, because those are more active on real estate than the rest of the state. Okay, now you can also see right here the file date that was uh, was sorry when the lease pendant became public on August 2017 and I can see if the property is going to be auctioned and when if the property has that day you will be able to see it so this property is going to be auctioned on November okay for this amount that is the amount for the known debt okay now uh, the rest of the information we don't have it that's why it says here zero because we don't have the mortgage liens as I told you this is the information for the foreclosure because I also select, remember on my search, to search for properties that are probate, right here, that I just selected yes. On the properties, okay, that, have, that we have the information for probate, you will be able to see that tab. The full information for the probate is right here. The ID notice, the file, the deceased person, okay, that this, in this case, this is the owner that we will see right here on details. Charles is the owner. But I can see the information for the representative right here, name and address, and only address, okay? We don't have for representative either emails and phone numbers because they want to be contacted through their attorney. But for the attorneys, we do have emails and phone numbers. Again, this is depending if they register that information, if they want to be contacted. Sometimes they manage these cases, I don't know, privately. Um, we cannot find their information. Any questions about anything, guys? Or you want me to just continue? Let me know. Oh, I have a question. Jack, thank you. He says, can I see the cell date in the BMB comes? The cell date? The sold day for any of these properties, you mean? Yes, you can see it. If you click on any of these, okay, or you go to the BNB type of, oh, sorry, sorry, the BNB types. No, you cannot. The BNB comes, they come from Airbnb. Remember that there, there is a um, information that is blocked due to privacy um, permissions and everything. That's why you don't see for any of these the addresses, okay, neither here or on the BNB website. Only the location, similar locations or IDs on the Airbnb. So you cannot see the date when these properties were last sold or the full address or any public record information about them. That, prop that information is private, only for the BNBs. For the other ones, you will be able to see everything because we we have access to that specific information. So sorry, Jack, you cannot see that. Did that answer your question? Let me know, please. Thank you, Jack. Okay. So I didn't select on my search properties that have debts on taxes. Remember that you can go back to the search and use under the public records filter, the tax delinquents for year and amount. If I will have, okay, if I have selected, then I will see another tab right here that it says tax debts. And you will be able to see the information for the year and the amount for those um, uh, uh, debts, okay, based on taxes. In this case, this property doesn't have any debts. That's why it, the tab, it doesn't appear here. Good? Now, this is the full information about a property that you can see on the overview. Right here at the top, remember that you have several icons, okay, if you want to do anything. You can access maybe the PAR report, the property analysis report. It will allow you to store every tab, okay, every information that you have selected. This is in case that you want to share this with anybody, okay? You can just click on there, 
select or maybe deselect something if you don't want to share that information and click on apply. It will open the property analysis report in this case where everything that I just explained to you is contained right here. Okay, property details, everything there, the cell history, uh, owner information, listing details in my case because I have the permission for an agent in your case. Right here, you only will see um, the links or maybe anything, if it's only the additional links. The comparables, the active comes, distress comes, rent comes, BNB comes, the mortgage, foreclosure information, probate, and that's it, because there is not anything else about this particular property. This report, okay, or any uh, anything that you store, you can print it, if you want to download this as a PDF file, okay, you can also there on your printer, instead of selecting your printer, select save as a PDF. Or just save it as a document on your ReFX account. I'm going to put this webinar, okay, that is for today. Just put a name for my file and click on OK. This file I can access anytime from my control panel, from my documents. I can also send the link to anybody by email if I need to. I just go click here, go to documents. I will see all my documents saved right here. The first one for today, okay? I can see that is the webinar. If I click on it, it will open a tab on the browser that I can see every information, okay? All the, par the property analysis report, again, is going to be here available. I can also just copy the URL right here if I click on it or copy the URL right here, okay? And send this link to anybody so they can see the information. That's how you can um, share the reports, okay, with any of your peers or anybody that you are might be interested to send this information to. You have several reports right here at the top. I recommend you to use them. If you have any questions about the reports, you can see past webinars about them, okay? The X-ray report, discount report, the subdivision report, or the BPO report. The absor absorption rate report is a report that is only available for agents. Again, if you are an agent or you work with an agent, your partner, let us know their license information so we can verify it and upload here in your account some features that are for agents. One of these features is the uh, this particular re report. If you are a mentor student from DRIA, you are also going to see the investor offer right here that it will allow you to see that uh, particular um, offer price that you can calculate based on your comparables. You can uh, go with your mentoring program and ask them how Freddy works, okay? They can explain you everything. If you have professional or professional dialer from the overview of one property, you can just send this property to your follow-up, okay? To your follow-up right here, your CRM system. Once the property is stored there, you can send contracts, emails, text messages, selecting all the properties, okay? Or several properties in your follow-up. That will be up to you. But from here, okay, from the system, you can also send contracts from the overview, so, sorry. From the overview, you can send one contract at a time by clicking right here on Send Documents. Remember that you need to have your um, documents uploaded in your account, PDS files completely blank. You can create templates for them, so those are going to be auto-populated. And if you want to send one contract at a time, click on Send Documents right here. In this case, it will take us to the Send Document tab. Let's wait for this to open. In my account, I have several test uh, contracts, okay? Either from BRIA or DRIA, the mentoring program. I'm going to use this one. This is an as if kind of contract. And right here, you can select either change, sorry, send this contract with an addendum, okay? Addendum. Uh, in this case, this is my lease based pen disclosure, lead based pen disclosure. I can also send my proof of fund, 
my earnest money deposit, okay, with my title company. That's why I can see here P and E. I can also modify or select right here a listing price, okay? Remember that you can also calculate if you are part of DRIA and if you are a mentor a student from DRIA, calculate with your Freddy, Freddy icon, or just put your uh, manual offer right here. So I'm going to send, sorry, this is the offer that I'm going to send for this particular property. I can modify the initial deposit, add additional deposit, additional deposit dates, change my inspection date, accept end date, closing date. My information as a buyer is something that I already have set up, okay, right here on my settings on my documents. The information for the seller is going to popul auto populate on the contract. I can change right here in this case, okay, because I this property is for sale, so I have the information for the agent and the agent email is already here, but I'm going to change it because we in customer service, we don't work in real estate. I'm going to send this contract to myself. So I'm going to look for my contact right here, okay, clicking on this icon. So I'm safe here, Diana from Reafax and assign. So right here, this is my information for me as an agent, sending this contract to myself. You can store several scroll title companies, okay? In this case, I have none, so not a real company. And uh, everything customized here about the contract, the font, the size and the color, I suggest you to not modify it because that is how it works for the far bar kind of contracts. If you want to send this by email, just click right here and it will be sent out. If you want to download it, okay, and then print it, you can do it as well. Or if you want just to see the contract, how it's going to be auto-populated, remember, first you need to create a full template. So there the information is going to appear. Let me show you how. This is the attachment that they are going to receive. So right here I have everything. The seller, buyer, full property information, the offer price that I just selected, okay? The information for my scroll is right here. Accepting date, closing date. I already upload my signatures. This is something that you can do. Any X mark, any check mark, any number, date that you want to add in a particular line, it could be there, are populated in your contract. Okay, let me go down into the last pages, right here. Okay, any text, signatures, dates, emails, phone numbers, in this case me, Riafax, as the agent for this property. Right here, the last pages of the contracts are going to be the additional documents that you selected. The lease-based pen disclosure is right here as well. My uh, proof of fund where my information as buyer and the date has been auto-populated as well. My bank statement and my earnest money deposit, okay? So if I want to send this, I just click on email. I can create any templates as well for emails for different first offers or follow-ups on, on an offer. Remember that you need to sound, and that's how you can send these emails. So I have this email, let's wait for this to load. That is about a cash offer for this property. You can use as well the variables, okay, that are right here. Select them to create your template. The variables are going to auto-populate the different information for anything that you use, okay? Even your information. And I click on Send Documents, and that's it. The document is going to be sent out if I have professional or professional dialer, the property will uh, store, it will be stored right here automatically. So there it will store that you today send the contract for a particular offer price and everything, okay? That is everything, guys, about the um, overview of a property. Uh, the last thing is that if you want, sorry, if you have professional or professional dialer, you can actually click right here. Sorry, it's taking a little bit long because my server, my, my connection just went down a little bit. So document send and that's it. 
if you have, again, professional or professional dialer, you can send this property to one of your mailing campaigns and it will be right here. From there, you can print the labels, print uh, the letters, okay, if you want to use regular mail. And that's it. The last thing is the legend icon. It will allow you to check any color for any status about the properties. Properties that are green are active for sale. Properties that are orange are properties that are active for, sorry, uh, that are for sale by owner. Properties that are blue are properties that are off market. The only contact information is the owner. And properties that are brown are properties that were recently sold, so they are closed sales. That is everything for today's webinar about the overview of, the, of a property. So please let me know if you have any last questions. You will be able to see this uh, record video in our YouTube channel again whenever you are using the system. If you have any questions, okay? If you need to, any kind of assistant, go right here on the chat window, open it, just say hello to us, uh, can you help me with something? And we can um, give you the assistance that you need through here, okay? You can also call us or email us at reafax at gmail.com and our customer service number is 888-349-5368. So if anybody have, sorry, if nobody have any kind of questions or last questions, I will let you go, guys. Please have the greatest Friday and the greatest weekend, okay? Bye-bye. Have a great day.